you sit there and say it's life affirming. What is that? That doesn't mean anything. Life affirming to be um, intelligent to know that the rest, of, that, that, that the human race is doomed. Is that life affirming? I mean, what 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 grand conclusions do you come to that uh, give you this affirmation that the idiotic system is still not in place? That the molecule still doesn't own the mind of man? Hey, it's life affirming. Now, so the next premise is therefore, I mean, your conclusion um, is therefore nature sucks. Um, see, I see it this way. We are. I love the. And I, yeah, I would just play it here if I could get away with it. Uh, the um, Carl Sagan um, blue dot monologue. Um, from cosmos because I see it like this we are the most evolved species on this planet we have choices that other species well technically I don't know if we're the most evolved I mean really I, you know analyzing praying mantises this summer it's an incredible machine okay I mean it has physical attributes that are just quite amazing you know very sophisticated organism it has tools, all right? Its tools are different. It doesn't use intelligence. It uses a physical mechanism. But it's, it's, an, it's an elaborate and sophisticated machine. What we're doing is we have this fucktarded cycling psychology. But it's, like I said, the psychology is still doing the same thing, okay? We have a big brain, but it's still doing little brain things, little things. It's not doing big things. It's doing little things. ACs don't. Um, because they haven't evolved as far as we have. And um, we are the only species we know who, uh, who has evolved this far and is this intelligent. So we need to foster the selection of both intelligence and humanity. And the way you do that um, is to see exactly what Carl Sagan says and to believe it. Um, and well, look, Carl Sagan was a romantic. It was just, it's, you know, it's, it's a, what's the right word for it? It's a presentation. It's a, it's a, um, it's not a real conversation about reality. Again, it's this wallowing in some notion of beauty. We all can see it. It exists. Yes, we all have subjective perceptions of attractiveness and beauty and so somehow we're going to use that as a, a tool and say that this this now is something special because we have a special feeling when we look at it that's not reality okay that's subjective bullshit you can't create an argument out of that nonsense it'll be if you haven't watched the blue dot um monologue uh, it'll be in the sidebar and you should do that uh, and um, so that's it. I mean, that's a beginning. Um, it's not as articulate as I'd like, but it's a beginning. And I know what you're going to do, Amendum, is you're going to look at this and you're going to do um, like a ponage video. And in the middle, you're going to have um, to be serious fails again, you know? <laughs> Fine. You know, if, if that's what you want to do, if that's what you want to do, you are... Yeah, well, look, I can tell you what you're going to do. You're going to one-star my video again. That's what you're going to do. And then you're going to badmouth me on somebody else's comment boards. That's what you're going to do. So fuck you. Really. Fuck you. My argument to you is, is that you're not really using this because you've done exactly what the religious assholes have done. You've distorted reality, you've perverted it, so there's no fucking way you're going to be able to interact with reality in a rational manner because you've misdescribed it.